Hello children. Today we are going to learn another one interesting topic. Before entering into the topic, please think and reflect. What is our main food source? That means uh, through which uh, living organisms or non-living organisms uh, we are getting food. Mainly the food which we are getting from the plants and also animals and some um, food sources which are not uh, are related to plant or animal that is salt which we are getting from the mines and also from the oceans. Ocean water or sea water is uh, changed uh, into salt when we dry them and also we are getting the rock salts from the mines. That means the food sources, main food sources are plants and animals. Okay children, what is the main uh, food material which we are eating every day? That is the major part, major food source that is rice, isn't it? Which food grain is called as universal food grain? Universal food grain means it is eaten by the people almost throughout the world. So which food grain is eaten by most of the people around the world? That is paddy. We called it as rice. Try to estimate how much grain your family consumes in a month. Do you have any idea children? How much grain sir? Uh, your family consumes in a month how much grains how much rice uh, your family is using if a family consists of four members uh, obviously uh, in an average they use 50 kgs in a month if we estimate for a year it will be 600 kgs per year how much uh, uh, area can you estimate how much area of land would be required to grow the quantity of grain needed for your family in a year? That means uh, how much land of uh, area uh, is used to grow a uh, 600 kgs of uh, paddy or 600 kgs of rice. That is 0 0.14 square kilometers. Approximately I am saying. Okay. Do we producing adequate amount of food grains to our population? The food grain uh, which are produced uh, around uh, India, that uh, food is enough for our uh, Indian people? No, uh, no so we are not producing uh, sufficiently uh, food grains for the people of our country. If What happens if food is not produced in sufficient amounts? There will be obviously it leads to food scarcity. Isn't it children? Then why we are not able to produce uh, the food according to the growth of the population? What are the major factors that determine the crop production? Let us see in this lesson. What are the major factors? How do we increase food production? In which way we can increase the food production rate? Let us see uh, uh, the answers for these questions in this lesson. So children, we are going to learn uh, challenges in improving agricultural production. Our lesson is this. Through this lesson, the learner is going to learn that identify the relationship between different factors and food production, explains that how to increase crop production, analyzes the information in the table which is given about population growth and food production, Differentiates between hybrid and wild varieties of grains. Wild varieties means local variety. Okay. Applies knowledge in increasing crop production. That means the knowledge which they learn in this lesson, how to improve crop production, that knowledge will be applied by them in their daily life. That, that means they uh, usually say to their uh, elders or uh, their parents. And uh, gives examples for Karif, Rabi, and Zayed crops and also short term and long term crops. These are the learning outcomes um, in this lesson. Okay, uh, first uh, I asked you how much food grains are eaten by your family in a year, how much land is required. 
if uh, according to the population growth if uh, food grain food production is not uh, increased what happens the food scarcity will be arises i want to show you some uh, data this data shows uh, from 1961 to 2011 uh, for every decade the population growth and food grain production is given here uh, let us see in the decade 1961 to 1971 the population growth is 2.4 and the food product food grain production is 2.83 what is the ratio of food production here food production by population growth 1.18 that means here uh, the food production rate is more when compared to population growth in the decade of 1961 to 71 this is a very good isn't it in 1971 to 1981 the population growth is 2.3 2.23 food production is 1.8 the ratio of food production and population growth is 0.80 that is the population growth is high the food food grain production is less in 1981 to 1991 population growth is 2.16 and food grain production is 3.13 so here some in, improve implementation is a uh, uh, showing in the food production so this is okay in 1991 to 2001 food population growth is 1.95 and the food grain production is 1.1 only a very less uh, ratio in uh, food production and population growth this is very less in 2001 to 2011 1.65 is the population growth 1.03 is the uh, food grain production and the ratio of food production and uh, population growth is 0.2 this is also less so this is the population growth and uh, food grain production what is the relation between these two uh, growth of population and food grain production means if according to the population growth the food grain production is also increases uh, simultaneously there is no problem in any country if uh, the food production is less the people of that country suffers with the scarcity of food lack of food they suffer with lack of food and they get so many diseases ultimately the uh, development of the country also declines reduces okay children let us uh, i want to ask you some questions on this table so keep in mind the ratios of uh, each decade now i want to ask some questions in which decade population growth is higher in which decade population growth is higher 2.4 that is uh, 1961 to 1971 in which decade food product food grain production is higher that is also the same no in 1981 to 1991 what major difference did you find in the table what are the major differences you find here according to the population growth food grain production is not uh, increases that is one and when compared to uh, the first decades now the population growth is reduced okay and the food grain production is also there is a fluctuation in growth uh, rising falling is there in the food grain production also those are the differences majorly is food grain production increasing according to the population growth is it so is it uh, happening no it is not happening in which decade production of food grains did not uh, satisfy the needs of population what will happen if the production is not sufficient what happens if the production is not sufficient in which decade it it happened actually in 1991 to 2001 the rate of food grain uh, is very less so obviously the people suffered a lot uh, of uh, lack of food isn't so isn't it children so how to improve the crop production rate what write your suggestions to improve food production how to improve the uh, rate of food production children try to imagine some uh, suggestions to improve the uh, food production here some are um, 
ಸುಮಾರು ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡ್ ವೆರೈಟಿ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡ್ ವೆರೈಟಿ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸೋ ದೆಮ್ ದ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಹೈ ಇಲ್ಡ್ ಮೇನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ಹೈ ಇಲ್ಡ್ ಮೇನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಇರಿಗೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ದ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಷನಲ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಮೋಡ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಮೇನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೂಪರ್ವಿಜನ್ ಓವರ್ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಇಸ್ ದರ್ ಎನಿ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಪೆಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಆರ್ಗನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಟು ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸಮ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಗುಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸೋ ದೆಮ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ದೆನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹೈ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಸಮ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ದ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗ್ರೋ ವೆರಿ ಟಾಲರ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಗ್ರೋ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಟಾಲರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟಾಲರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಗುಡ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ದ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಗುಡ್ ಕ್ವಾ ಗುಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೆರಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಬೇರ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹೈ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಅಲ್ಕೊಲೈನಿಟಿ ಆರ್ ಸಾಲೈನಿಟಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪಿ ಹೆಚ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗುಡ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ದ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಯೋಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಅವೈಲಬಿಲಿಟಿ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೇಟರ್ ಆನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಅವೈಲಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇರಿಗೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಹೌ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಡಿ ನಾಟ್ ಈಟ್ ಫುಡ್ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಹೌ ಅವರ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹೌ ಅವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೀಕ್ so uh, like that way plant requires some water and minerals uh, to perform the photosynthesis then only they produce food uh, they can be very active in preparing food okay so water is very very essential for plant in uh, preparing food so we have to apply uh, adequate amount of water to the plants and also the minerals also to produce leaves flowers they require some elements like nitrogen phosphorus potassium zinc like that so we have to give those uh, uh, elements through the fertilizers okay children next weather weather condition is also very very essential for the crop production at the time of harvesting if the weather is not uh, um, weather condition is not good that means if they if it rains the harvesting is very hard so Uh, the weather conditions are uh, very
good quality seeds we can uh, see uh, how how can we we already know how to select a good quality seeds in the eighth class okay children try to recollect and uh, try to write the uh, procedure to how to select the good quality seeds then properties of soil availability of uh, proper application of uh, irrigation and fertilizers weather controlling insect attacks controlling weeds these are the main factors that are uh, affecting the crop production okay children how these factors affect the plants i will uh, explain with an example for this i am taking the uh, crop here experiment done with the corn uh, corn i think you all know the corn maize corn okay sweet corn corn have shown in the, shown the impact of some of these factors on crop production some results of these experiments are given in the following table here this is the method that is uh, the factors which affects the crop this is production for hectare hectare means you know children how, how much how many acres in a hectare hectare means almost two and a half acres that is one hectare is equal to 2.47 acres okay and the production uh, in cages per hectare per hectare grains or uh, uh, this is difference okay first one is time of planting time of planting that is weather here a month after onset of rains after rains uh, one month okay uh, the farmer sows seeds after after a month immediately after onset of rains immediately if the uh, rains after immediately they are, they sow the seeds means the production is difference like this if they sow after a month 3400 kg per hectare they get if they sow the seeds immediately after rains they got 5830 kg per hectare that means how much difference is how much difference is here 2430 kg per hectare they got the profit who sow the seeds after onset of rains so this is very 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 essential we have to keep in mind when we have to sow the seeds in the field then only we get the profit okay then only the crop productivity will be high the second one factor is density of planting how many plants we are planting in one acre in one hectare one hectare means two and a half acres or 2.47 acres plants per hectare in one hectare they are planting 39600 plants they planted so the production is 4000 uh 100 kg per hectare they got some people uh, planted 19800 plants they planted they got 5130 kg they got the production so who got the more production who planted less plants in one hectare then why if we sow many plants then only we can get uh, more production so uh, so why the people got very less when they planted more plants means if we planted uh, less plants and also the gap between one plant to other plant if we maintain a particular uh, gap between the plants then only the plants will uh, bear many branches that branches produces many fruits then we get production if we plant uh, the plants the space in between two plants is very less then the plant are, is not able to produce more branches they can't able to produce more uh, fruits or the grains okay so we have to keep in mind the space between the two plants also very essential uh, though crowd should not be uh, we should not be followed the crowd okay and weeding how many times uh, we have to uh, take out the weed plants from the crop field here some people take uh, follow one time they got 4040 kg per hectare some people did twice so that they got 5200 uh, kg per hectare so who got more who take out the weed plants twice they got more production so the uh, 1100 1160 kg more they got okay children in the nutrients application fertilizers without phosphorus 
the people who do not, who do not apply the phosphorus to the corn plants they got 4570 kg per hectare uh, 56 kg of phosphorus per hectare two and a half acres they applied 56 kg of phosphorus then crop production is 4660 kg 4660 kg they got 90 kg is difference here without nitrogen without nitrogen they they got 4320 kg per hectare 90 78 kg of nitrogen they applied to the two and a half acre crop they got 4900 kg of production so the difference is 5580 kg if nitrogen is applied to the crop so the production is increased that means what we have to do we have to uh, plant the what you uh, what you had understood from this table in in the in it which in which time we have to uh, uh, sow the seeds immediately after the rains what we have to do we have to maintain uh, some particular space between plants uh, we have to take out the weeds twice if they are more in the crop fields we have to do one more time definitely we have to apply the phosphorus nitrogen potassium and whatever the minerals required to the soil we have to apply all those uh, nutrients to the soil if we follow all these conditions then our crop production will be very high okay children this is uh, not uh, uh, the oral calculations this is experimentally proved proved data this is so we have to follow uh, these uh, um, methods then only we, we will get more crop production okay children so these are the uh factors that influence the crop production okay children and how to increase fruit food production here some are we seen uh, what are the factors that influence uh the production of uh, food here increase how to produce the how to increase the food production uh, what are the ways uh, we can use to increase the uh, uh, food production first one is increasing the area of cultivated land how can we increase the cultivated land so we are seeing a lot of waste lands over uh, uh, the road side or beside the road sides so we have to um, change that waste lands into cultivated lands then we can uh, increase the food production second one is increasing production in in the existing land so we can't able to increase the land so what we have to do we have to increase the food production by using uh, the hybrid varieties high yielding varieties then we can increase the food production if uh, if if we use we we use local variety of seeds we can produce only 40 bags in an acre per acre if we use a hybrid variety or good quality seeds we can produce 50 bags per acre that is increasing production in existing land third one is developing high yielding varieties this is uh, is in the hands of the scientists who deals with the seeds they have to develop high yielding varieties which are uh, suitable to our soil uh, conditions and also to our weather conditions okay then only we can produce uh, high amounts of uh, grains fourth one is crop rotation this is very very important one every year we are going same kind of plant means the soil is uh, uh, is not able to produce uh, is not able to give the sufficient nutrients to the plants we have to change the crops um if for every crop in the karif season we planted the rice and in at the time in, in the rabi season we have to plant uh, the groundnut or uh, some other fabaceae plant then only the nitrogen the fabaceae plants fix the nitrogen in the soil which is used by the paddy plants okay this year we planted paddy and next year we have to go for the sugar cane then uh, that will be very good for the uh, crops to get nutrients from the soil cultivating mixed crops this is also very very useful Cult mixed crop means in a land uh, we have to uh, uh, grow different uh, kinds of plants for example one line we have to grow at uh, the groundnuts and, and another line we have to grow cabbage groundnut plants fixes the atmospheric nitrogen in the soil 
that nitrogen uh, can be used by these groundnut plants and also the cabbage plant both the plants grow uh, simultaneously by using that uh, nitrogen a cabbage plant is not able to uh, do like that so but groundnut can do and also uh, cotton crop and uh, uh, red gram plants that can also we can do like that mixed crops and uh, neem orchard and uh, uh, groundnut plants mixed crops that is also useful one crop uh, fixes the atmospheric nitrogen in the soil other plants uh, uses that nitrogen that uh, obviously the food production will be high cultivating short term crops crops like rabi short term in the rabi season mostly the crops we go for 3 to 4 months uh, below 90 days or 90 days uh, crops that that will be very helpful which of finally which of the above option do you think is more meaningful or more useful children which one is uh, more useful in producing in increasing food production so let us see which is uh, most useful to increase food production to get high yield three types of methods are being used three types of methods we should use developing high yielding varieties high yielding uh, to produce more uh, uh, food grains high yielding varieties uh, helpful a lot mostly using high yielding high yield management methods high yield management methods like uh, irrigation methods in irrigation methods less water usage methods like drip irrigation sprinklers and uh, the um, fertilizers a different high yielding uh, management methods we have to follow then crop protection management crop protection management also very important when the crops get any disease we have to follow natural way of uh, uh, curing uh, we have to follow bio pesticides bio um, ways of uh, killing the germs or insects we have to follow these are the three methods that helpful or to farm or to increase the crop production that is uh, developing high yielding varieties high yielding high yielding means uh, high amounts or large amounts of uh, food grains we are getting through this high yielding varieties high yielding management methods a uh, crop production management production management from uh, from which we have to protect from which organisms we have to protect through microorganism from micro sorry through not through Uh, from microorganisms from insects we have to protect our crops okay children i want to tell you one uh, one thing that is what is kharif and what is rabi what is zayat there are three main uh, categories of uh, um, cultivations first one is kharif kharif means uh, when we planted uh, when we cultivate the crops uh, we start the crops at the time of um, june or july immediately after the onset of rains that is kharif rabi means we start this uh, cultivating crops in the month of uh, november or december we start in this month that is uh, rabi crop what about zayed zayed crop is a summer crop mainly we grow the crops at the time of uh, summer that is uh, april may we are uh, growing the crops that is zayat zayat is summer crop rabi is we start uh, in the december and kharif we start uh, in the month of july okay these are the seasonal uh, crop with types based on the seasons we divided the crops uh, uh, into three categories kharif rabi and zayat kharif in the kharif season we usually grow paddy uh, sugarcane in the rabi season we usually grow paddy and also some other crops like uh, green uh, green gram uh, red gram uh, no, sorry not uh, red gram um, horse gram like that and at the time of zayat we usually grow watermelon musk melon and also vegetables we grow leafy vegetables like that okay that that is the types of crops based on the seasons next based on the duration of time taken for cultivation so from sowing to harvesting from seeds sowing to harvesting harvesting means separating the seeds from the 
plant and uh, keeping those uh, seeds in a bag for storage that is uh, uh, duration of cultivation time if we take 90 days to grow the plants that is short term crops if we take 180 days to grow the plant a crop that is long term crop what are the uh, examples for short term crops which plants grow in 90 days which plant grow takes 180 days have you any idea children see first one is green gram this is the green gram plant it takes uh, around 90 days time this is uh, the red gram red gram seeds it takes uh, almost 180 days so this is long term crop and this is short term crop okay children and i want to show one hybrid variety and local variety this is the hybrid variety high yielding variety and hybrid variety um jowar seeds jowar i think you all know jowar jonnalu okay jowar seeds these are hybrid seeds and these are local variety uh, jowar seeds okay children this is about uh, our introduction to uh, challenges in uh, improving agriculture agricultural production now let us see the summary up to yet what we have seen how much food grains we are utilizing in a week and in a year relationship between population growth and food production factors affecting the food production how to increase the food production hybrid varieties karif and rabi short term and long term crops now uh, children you have to answer these questions uh, evaluation time what are the methods would you suggest to increase food production what are the factors that affect crop production give examples to short term and long term crops collect information about the crops grown in your in your village during kharif rabi and zayed seasons what happen if food production rate is very low when compared to population growth collect sample of different grains of wild and hybrid varieties wild means local variety okay uh, what is our main food crop okay children try to write the answers for these questions and send the answers to your teacher okay children i will meet you again with another topic until then bye everyone thank you very much